Good day, everybody. How are you all? I hope you are doing great. So we will talk about a binomial probability problem today. And we will use the calculator TI-84. This is the second part of the first problem which we solved using the formula. Here we will not use the binomial probability formula. It says if the probability of a concrete beam failing from a compression is 0 0.05, find the probability that from a sample of 50 beams, at least three will fall in compression. Now, if you understand at least three means three beam can fall, four beams can fall, five beams can fall, six beams can fall, all the way up to 50. So starting from three, all the way up to 50 because there are 50 beams. So the beams that are not going to fall can be zero, can be combination of zero and one beam, can be one beam, can be two, anywhere from zero to two, not failing. Okay, now this is a binomial probability situation because there are two possible outcomes. Okay, binomial probability because one outcome is fail, the second outcome is does not fail and does not fail. And we have probability of success, small p is probability of success, of success is equal to 0 0.05, okay? And n is total number of trials. number of trials is equal to 50, okay? And <laughs> let's see, probability of success, you know, any total number of trials is 50. So we are going to find out what is the probability, probability at least three BIMs, out of 50 will fall, which is equal to probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 all the way up to 50, all the beams falling, okay? Use the probability rule of complement events rule of complement events. In this case. And what is that? I'm going to write that for us. So prob oh, sorry. probability of A of complement of so probability of event complement complement means opposite to event a is equal to 1 minus probability of a so in this case applying this concept applying this rule probability of x greater equal to 3, okay, is equal to 1 minus, what is the complement event? Probability of 0 beams falling, probability of 1 beam falling, or probability of 2 beams falling. Why are we adding this probability? Because they're independent events. Now, Please do not quit. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. So this is a short presentation. Please stay around. I'll give you some important tips at the end of this program. And please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Before you leave, I have tons of 
stats problem solved just for you in my channel. Now, there is a function binom CDF. By, so let me erase that and let me write this. So using the calculator, Px greater or equal to 3 is 1 minus binom CDF is a cumulative probability distribution <coughs> function in the calculator TI84, um, which adds up from 0 up to in this case, it will add up to two. So my n number of trials is 50. My small probability of success is, remember, probability of failure of a beam is 0 0.05. And I want to add from zero to two. How is it ensured that I'm adding zero to two by this function C, which stands for cumulative distribution function? So how am I going to use it in my calculator? Please hang around and see how I do it. It's one minus, okay? Then I put my calculator, I type one, then minus, then I press the button, second button on the top left corner. Second button, then the verse button, which is in the third row of keys. Verse, this is V-A-R-S, verse, verse, okay? Let me erase that and make sure this is clearly written, is verse, V-A-R-S, third row of keys. And then I scroll down till I see, down with the down arrow key, scroll down till I see binom CDF, which is towards the bottom. Binom CDF, when I see that, I hit enter. So I have binom CDF. Then it is asking me for trials, that is N. So I'll type 50 is your total number of trials. And then my small p, probability of success is 0 0.05. So I type in 0 0.05. Then I will try x value. Remember, I'm adding from 0 to 2. x is always the last value, which is 2. So for x, I type 2. And then it is going to paste. So I put the cursor on paste and hit enter. twice okay enter once and then enter one more time and the answer is 0 0.4594 okay 0 0.4594 Let's make me sure, let me make sure. One minus second verse, scroll down to binom CDF. Trials is 50, probability of success is 0 0.05. And I'm adding 0, 1, and 2. So my last x value is 2. Paste, enter, and enter. And it is 0.4595, uh, you might say, or 4594. I will stop here today. The important hint or tip I wanted to give you is to use this shortcut in doing this calculation. That will make life much easier. Okay? Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day and see you next time when I'll be back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Please give me a thumbs up that motivates me to do solve more problems just for you. Again, thanks for watching. Take care and please do visit me next time. 
And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button and let them know that you want to be notified every time I load a new problem in the calculator, in the, my channel. Thanks. Take care. Bye.